Okay, I'm going to do a review of the key U.S. indices, see where we stand. So S&P 500, uh, the NASDAQ, QQQ to be specific, and IWM, so the, the small caps. So we'll start with the S&P 500. We'll start on the weekly because I think that's probably the most important thing to be aware of, where we are in the weekly cycle. So last weekly cycle was abnormally long, 31 weeks. You can see other cycles have been more around 20 to 25, and so that was pretty stretched. We topped out here on week 13, which was the week before last. So the week coming up will be week 15. That So this is our swing high so far here week on week 13. Assuming we have a 20-week cycle, we get a bottom on February 22nd. I would expect that we come down to this sort of area of uh, around 4,300, which was the last ICL, given how stretched we are and, and uh, a potential for this to be a, a YCL, um, a yearly cycle low. And you can see on the daily, uh, Friday was day 20, 29. This was probably your half cycle low. We'll see if this bounce continues before we, we roll over. Um, the QQQ is actually much weaker than... SPY, which is the tell that it might drag uh, at the S&P 500 down. So you can see for the weekly cycle for QQQ, we actually topped out on week seven. So that week that the S&P 500 made that new all-time high, that marginal all-time high on week 13, the NASDAQ was not able to. We just got, we barely got there. And so Looks like the Nasdaq, the QQQ comes down to the 350 area, and I think that probably is what drags uh, the S&P 500 down. And you can actually see the uh, semiconductors, SMH, same thing. Topped out on week seven, almost made a new high, just missed it. So this is your sort of epic double top. Uh, again, week 15 starts next week. Assuming a 20-week cycle, you wouldn't get your low for another you know, month or so, potentially. But, you know, of course, we, we could have an even longer cycle. And so finally, going back to IW, concluding with IWM, you can see this on week 22, we got our, uh, we got our weekly swing low here, but now we've sort of, we're now kind of rolling over. It's still holding so far at 208.76, but the assumption is that actually breaks so instead of this being an, an ICL, I, I suspect we're actually in week 25. Uh, maybe we're going for like a 28-week cycle, so similar to like this one, or maybe something like 27 weeks like this one. And you can see on the daily, it's even more bearish. I mean, the last cycle was really long at 61 days right here, and we've almost already failed here on day 18. We have our top on day 10, so it's most likely going to be left translated, unless we can go and make a new high above 227, which, I mean, at this point seems seems pretty unlikely. So that's where the indices stand. I think we, we have weakness for at least another month, potentially before a nice low and, and probably a, a sustainable rally for you know several months.